There may be new weapons in the fight against COVID-19. Pills, oral medications that represent the next frontier of treatment, and their early results have Canadian scientists excited. If we can reduce hospitalization by roughly 90%, this is um, a very, very promising result. So much so, Pfizer concluded its preliminary trial of 775 participants early after it saw high-risk adults with COVID who received the antiviral Paxlovid three to five days after symptoms began had a dramatic reduction in hospitalizations and deaths. Very high efficacy comes even to us as a surprise, uh, exceeds our most uh, visionary expectations. Here's how it works. Protease enzymes function like a pair of scissors, cutting protein chains so the virus can quickly replicate. The protein inhibitor, Paxlovid, is designed to block the scissors' blades so it can't cut, and then it can't multiply. Having another layer of uh, a way to treat the virus directly as opposed to trying to prevent the virus is an effective strategy. Um, and it's something that adds a lot of, uh, a lot of tools to our toolbox. One that's cheaper and easier to administer than IV treatments like monoclonal antibodies. Critically, it could also be easier to mass produce, experts say, and distribute globally. Already, drug maker Merck has sold millions of dollars of its COVID-19 antiviral pill, Molnupiravir, which has shown to reduce severe COVID outcomes by 50%. It was approved in the UK Thursday. I know that the pill does not take away from the vaccination. The vaccination is still really, really important, but this will reduce my symptoms. Hopefully, therefore, the infection will not take a hold on my chest and I won't end up in hospital. Merck's pill is under review by Health Canada and the US FDA. I do know that our regulatory colleagues are working uh, as fast as they can. Pfizer says it hasn't yet made submissions to regulators here, but it does plan to ask for emergency use authorization in the U.S. It hopes to get data to them later this month. Robin?